Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, aka Scotty Business. Today we're going to be talking about the different ways that you can earn cryptocurrency passively. So we're going to be covering um, very recently when I did my last dividend update, I briefly touched on the fact that now I'm including cryptocurrency in my uh, in my dividend portfolio, and I want to actually cover the different ways that you can earn crypto with crypto. So how do you grow your wealth with crypto? There's five main ways that I've been looking at. I'm sure there might be more. And if there are, feel free to comment below or actually rather more than feel free. I encourage and ask that you do comment below for my benefit and for everyone else watching. So the five main ways that I've been looking at for earning passive crypto income are hard staking, soft staking, lending your crypto, fee and payment sharing, and crypto real estate. So we're going to briefly take a look at all of these. Um, first, I'll bring up my actual crypto holdings. I know this is a little bit hard to um, to fully understand what, what is happening, but this is really just to show you what I'm actually invested in in case people think I'm not being transparent. Um, for a brief idea, this is sort of the breakup. These here are my Binance invested coins um, on Binance and many other exchanges. You're incentivized to hold on the platform via soft staking. What soft staking is, is you're not actually locking anything in but just holding it on the platform means you're soft staking. So Binance wants to incentivize you to use their platform for storage, whereas many people would say, you know, you should take your funds off of an exchange. The benefit of leaving them on is that you'll be able to soft stake. And there's only certain coins that are beneficial for that or actually able to do that. So definitely check out what that is. It's listed on you know, like if you go on KU coin, you can see in their staking section, what's stakeable, uh, same with Binance. Um, I'll leave, <clears throat> I'll leave links to that. So you guys can figure that out as well. Some of the other platforms that I'm using, um, are hard stake platforms. So for example, if you go on D live and here, let's actually take a look. Now I'm not a big fan of D live but I do have a lot of BTT. So I, I figured I might as well stake it because I like any platform that rewards you based on payment sharing. So payment sharing um, isn't always the same as staking. It typically goes hand in hand. Um, and in this case it does, but they're not always the same. So I did keep those separate, but essentially here, oh, I just need to log into uh, Tron link. So on Tron link here, once you're logged in, you can see how much my total stake of BTT is. It's 1.36 million, which isn't crazy. It's like $300 or something like that. And um, this is the annualized return estimate. <clears throat> this changes every day though, because this is all based on donations and subscriptions on DLive. So even though I'm not a huge fan of DLive, I can stake in it and, you know, if there's ever an issue, I can easily just stake out and, um, and then sell my BTT. But because I'm staked in with, uh, you know, over a million every day, I'm getting between 1000 and 2000 and, you know, that's pretty significant. That's, that's a decent amount. If you're getting actually around 30% every year then you're earning a pretty good sum. And these APRs are way higher than you would get in traditional stocks, but you know, you've know you always got to consider the higher the APR, the riskier it is generally. So you know, keep that in mind, but I still want to cover all the things that are out there. And this is not financial advice, but um, this is what is possible with with crypto so this is a form of hard staking because you actually have to stake in and there is a time that you have to wait to stake out i don't know what the exact um stake out like time is it might only be 
a day, or it might be the same as Tron three days. I'm not entirely sure about that. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but there is typically some sort of time restriction on staking out. And that's the difference between a hard stake and a soft stake. Soft stake is it's just sitting there and it's earning. Whereas a hard stake is you actually have to dedicate it for a certain amount of time, or there's like a limit to, uh, or restrictions on the time for staking out. I think it's be called, I think it's called the lockout period is, um, what actually is the term coined for how long it takes to actually get your coins back. But there's different versions of this. Um, for example, Bitmax uh, is another one. And I'm not going to go through all these because I'll actually have to like log in and stuff. And it's not super different from this. Bitmax, again, you buy BTMX, you stake it on their platform. The difference is uh, that this is a trading platform, say with KU coin. Um, on these platforms, you're earning payment shares from their platform. So um, I'm earning USDT on here, and then I'm earning just more KCS on here because it's KCS, KU coin shares that earns you um, fees from their platform on KU coin. And then on BitMax, you're getting fees from their platform as well. I think that's the best model for earning crypto is trading fees and stuff like that from exchanges because as crypto grows you're going to make more and more with those investments versus um you know other things that you they won't scale as well so realty is another really cool platform where you can invest in real estate um, in a tokenized way so essentially you're able to get a a fraction of a piece of property in a token so for example if we go to my portfolio here <clears throat> and they're always buying new houses and listing them um, when i first started this was being listed and i think it's sold out since and then they listed these two and i bought some of these so for all of these i have three tokens and essentially this helps me because um, like you get a pretty good amount from these tokens, right? As you can see here, this pays about $51 of rent every year. This one pays $17 of rent every year. This one pays $18 of rent. And then you can see your fraction of the property as well as the actual value and the value that you're holding. All right. So then with that, you'll actually get paid USDC coins every day. I don't think it's every day currently because the fees are so high, but um, basically every day I see USDC coins coming in. And um, I might have spent some of them recently, but every day I think each of these is paying me about seven cents or so in, uh, in Canadian dollars. And you know, seven cents every single day from each of these is a pretty good amount, right? Essentially, that is making me, let's go over to the trusty spreadsheet here. The total amount that, I'll, that I should get paid out by the end of the year is $75. So that's really, really good. Considering I've only invested about Uh, $651. If I'm getting $75 every year, then, you know, that's a steal, honestly. Um, the reason that that is so good is because, you know, it's higher than um, most stocks and ETFs. It's safe because it's an actual, well, I mean, it's not so safe, but it's safer than investing in just a cryptocurrency because um, it's more reliable. Um, the return isn't probably going to change drastically uh, maybe in covid in the times we're in but for the most part you can rely that people are going to be paying their rent and if anything rent might even go up and you might make more so you know it's definitely a very lucrative way to do things you can sell it back to them through the platform or through uniswap of course the liquidity is going to be lower but um when I saw if I could sell it, I could, and I would get basically the original value that I invested. 
So that's really good to see. Um, and if you sell it back to them, they won't charge you the like maintenance fee for, uh, or the realtor fee for selling it. If you do it within the first six months, I believe, um, because if you're like dissatisfied and you want your money back, but you don't want to like lose a little bit in the transaction, you can basically get all your money back. Um, so I think that's really good, but going forward past that, you would have to pay whatever fees it would be. Um, you would still make more than that in a year to be able to afford the fee anyway. So I don't think it's really that big of a concern. Um, if you're holding this for a long time, which is generally what you should be doing with real estate, then that shouldn't be an issue. That, um, and then the last thing that I'm not doing, but I'll briefly discuss is lending. So one platform that's good for lending that's widely known about is called BlockFi. There's a lot of different places you can go for lending, but BlockFi is one popular example where you can deposit these different coins and get paid um, for allowing, allowing them to be lent out. So if I had a ton of Ethereum, and I wanted to deposit it, I could earn 4.5% every year on my Ethereum. If I take my USDC coin that I'm getting paid every day and I put it in here, I can earn another 8% on top of that. So on top of the money I'm bringing in from the real estate, I could take that money and then make that money make more money at 8.6% per year. Effectively, what you can do with a lot of this is compound your money and just keep it going. Um, as you saw before, I had to claim my crypto from BTT. It's the same for most of these. Luckily, the uh, real estate is just automatic. I believe this is automatic, lending is automatic, soft staking is automatic, but any hard staking typically requires you to claim and actually get your funds. And I think that avoids it being like a payment and rather like your I, I'm not exactly sure what the legality is around that, but I do know that the reason they do that is because it uh, it skirts like some sort of legality or legal loophole. And, and, and I mean, the good thing is too, that because you can claim almost every day for most of these platforms, um, like another example is bankroll, because you can claim every day, you can compound your investment extremely quickly, right? So if every day you claim your uh, your dividends and you reinvest those then every day you're compounding your interest versus you know you claim it once a week or once a month or once a year um, obviously the more frequently the more you're going to earn but um, there's definitely a huge benefit to doing this right so here you can see on banker um, i've got 1.5 banker waiting to be claimed and that's about I don't know exactly what that's worth. I mean, here, let me super quickly check. I have it right here on Blockfolio. Banker is currently worth six cents each. So, you know, that's about what, like 10 cents US. Um, that's pretty good, right? 10 cents a day is a, uh, for $310 US dollars worth of Tron. That's not bad at all, right? And be, again, because you can claim it every day, it will allow you to compound it. And it's the same with the other stuff on uh, on ban um, Bankroll as well. But um, definitely check that out. I think Bankroll, um, BitMax, DLive Staking, KU Coin Staking, and Realty are some of the best passive income options out there. I know there's a lot. I'm mainly interested in um, more well-known ones that can give me good um, payouts on a regular basis and don't rely on me to invest in something that's very, you know, not widely used or well known because I, the main thing for me is that I have liquidity to be able to switch back. I don't want to be, you know, stuck supporting one thing, um, because I wanted to test it out. But if there's any uh, suggestions that you have as a viewer, I'd love to hear from you guys as to you know what's out there because i love finding different ways to earn crypto income and um, i'm always looking to take advantage of new opportunities so if you guys are doing something that is 
you know, working really well for you, I'd love to hear about it in the comments and potentially make a video about that and include it in my strategy as well. Because, you know, a lot of this stuff, I just hear from people and get suggestions and then I test it and then I review it for you guys. So even if there's something that you haven't tested, but you'd like to see tested, feel free to comment below and I will check it out and let you know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching up to this point. Since you did, it would be awesome if you could give this video a like and if you could comment down below hashtag number one ham. That way I know that you watched the full video. Also, it would be great if you guys could follow me, subscribe to my channel. Um, you can follow me and find me everywhere under at Scott C Business. And also, you know, sharing this video makes a huge impact. If you'd like to support me more directly, you can uh, donate to scottcbusiness.crypto or scottcbusiness.eth. And that covers a lot of my main addresses for Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ripple. As always, I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Scottsy Business, signing off. Cheers.